Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Thursday the 31st of August comes to you from London and we start by looking at the dollar. Dollar has actually been rising the last couple of days and we are just seeing this recovery. So um, dollar looking quite strong back into short term bullish territory. No clear upside targets on the 60 minute chart though. So um, we're not seeing any clear thrust yet. This thrust off the bottom will give us an upside target. Of course, we'll need to pull back and then go higher for that to be activated. So um, it's interesting that we are just seeing quite a strong recovery here, but it is a lower low, so uh, it's too early to say. And we have taken out this uh, key support level around the uh, 90, uh, 93 level. So at the moment, um, the dollar is short term bullish, but um, still not out of the woods. The euro has fallen back from these um, 120 levels. So again, it was very high. And again, no clear short uh, term downside targets. And again, we will get a thrust downside target on this column when it final, finally stops. But for the moment, there's no clear picture as to how low the euro could go. If you want to, um, if you're trading these currencies, look at the one minute chart and you'll you'll see more trends and targets for the very short term. Uh, the Japanese yen uh, dollar is strengthening here as well. So uh, just seeing a, a, a really a theme of the dollar strengthening. And again, sterling, uh, we're seeing sterling just falling back against that stronger dollar as well. Uh, the euro sterling chart is quite interesting. Uh, sterling has recovered a little bit this last couple of days as well in sympathy with the dollar. So the euro is just weaker. So euro weaker, sterling in the middle and, and dollar stronger. Against the Swiss franc, we're also seeing a recovery. And against the Australian dollar, um, which tends to trade in a little bit in sympathy with the US dollar, we're seeing um, that recovery as well. The S&P 500 index uh, recovered yesterday as well. So we are seeing that now back into bullish short-term ter territory. Upside targets of 3%, 1.5% and 2%. So the US market is looking strong again. And the NASDAQ is uh, up strongly yesterday, back above the cloud on, on all three charts. So we're starting to see um, the bullish reaction and recovery. Just again, looking at the weekly, we see it was just starting to nudge new highs. So the US market is looking strong again. The Dow also just back above the cloud as well. Uh, the Russell 2000, which has been causing some concern, recovering also um, not quite back above the medium term cloud chart. So we are just seeing that's just a bit sluggish. Uh, looking at the S&P future up very slightly this morning and the same with the NASDAQ. So um, that's quite key as well. FTSE 100 um, is uh, recovering also, but not looking anywhere near as clear cut as the US markets recovery. We are just in this very clear range for the last um, few months now. And the FTSE 250 not yet above the cloud either. Um, but still holding its ground on the medium and, and long-term charts. So US market really leading as we might expect. The DAX, not out of the woods either. Stronger Euro has had a big impact and we are bearish medium and short term, although we recovered quite strongly yesterday. And the Nikkei is actually now back into bullish territory above the cloud on that weaker yen, stronger dollar. So that is helping uh, Japanese equities. Hang Seng is bullish above the cloud on all three charts, as is the Shanghai market, actually clearly coming into bullish territory on this long term chart, which is good news. The Indian market trading off the bottom on the Sensex and the Australian market also recovering as well. Brent crude is down this morning again. We've got downside targets here. Uh, it's quite key that we are just nudging this $50 level. Um, with everything that's been happening in Houston, you might have expected uh, there'd be an increase on oil prices. But in fact, we are seeing downside targets. 48.73, 48.34, suggesting we will go back below this $50 on Brent crude. And WTI already diverging quite strongly. Um, down at $46 and bearish on all three charts, aiming for these mid-40 targets, and we've got quite a few of them. So um, crude looking more and more bearish. US Nat Gas sitting steady at uh, $2.94, and copper continuing its run. Um, well, we have seen just really big moves here in the copper price, so that is also just looking more bullish. Looking at some other soft commodities, cocoa um, down quite strongly at the moment, a lot of volatility in the short term charts. Cotton also the same. Looking at uh, sugar, uh, we're seeing uh, finding some support on the cloud, short term bullish. Wheat just starting to recover as well. Soya beans still looking pretty bearish and corn looking pretty bearish, hitting new lows there. 
Uh, the gold chart, quite interestingly, we have fallen back on the stronger dollar. We are just falling back on the gold price. We're still holding this $1,300 at $1,306. We have activated a downside target. But that thrust that we saw has produced new upside and negated some downside targets. So the picture for gold is still pretty bullish, but we are this short-term pullback is here. Remember, this pullback gives us an opportunity to create a new upside thrust target if we see another move in gold. So it is still a bullish um, picture. Silver also a couple of downside targets on the short term, but still looking um, fairly bullish. 10-year Treasury yield sitting at 2.14%. Apple was up strongly last night, um, hitting new highs on the weekly. We see that chart. Uh, we've got new upside targets of 8% uh, on both the medium and short-term charts. Google also recovering off the bottom. This is a stock that has been worrying us, finding support on the medium-term trend. And so it looks like it's embarking on a new uptrend short term. And Amazon not quite through yet. This has been another stock that's been a little bit worrying. But it looks like we're finding support now. Facebook up quite strongly yesterday um, and back above the cloud on the short term. So we are just seeing here quite big moves. And Microsoft also just um, managing to, to move quite strongly to new high territory. So uh, looking very bullish there as well. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.